This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Weekly fluid checks. The bonnet release lever is located on the bottom of the lower dash panel. Open the bonnet by releasing the locking lever from the bottom of the dashboard above the throttle pedal. Lift the front of the bonnet up and release the safety lever before lifting the bonnet up and locking in position with the prop bar. Engine oil level. Run the engine for several minutes and then switch off. Allow the engine oil to fall back into the bottom of the engine before checking the level. This can take three to four minutes. Remove the dipstick from the dipstick tube on the engine and wipe the oil from it using a clean rag or paper towel. Insert the dipstick back into the dipstick tube and withdraw it again. Check the oil level on the dipstick. It should be between the lower mark and the upper mark on the dipstick. If necessary, remove the oil filler cap and add a small quantity of oil to the engine. Use a funnel to prevent spilling engine oil onto the engine. After a couple of minutes, recheck the engine oil level at the dipstick, and once the oil reaches the upper mark, the engine oil level is correct. The level of coolant in the reservoir varies with the temperature of the engine. When the engine is cold, the coolant level should be at or slightly above the min mark on the reservoir. Once the engine has warmed up, the level should be at or near the max mark. If the engine is warm, the best way to determine if the cooling system is under pressure is to squeeze the radiator hose. If you cannot squeeze the hose, the system is under pressure and it is not safe to loosen the pressure cap yet. If you can squeeze the hose, the pressure has reduced sufficiently to safely remove the pressure cap. To add coolant, simply twist open the cap and add a 50-50 mixture of ethylene glycol based antifreeze and water. Only top up the cooling system with the same type of coolant. To top up the reservoir, remove the cap and add water to the reservoir. Battery electrolyte. On models not equipped with a sealed battery, check the electrolyte level of all six battery cells. On models with a translucent battery case, minimum and maximum level marks are present on the side of the case. Keep the electrolyte level at the max mark. On models with an opaque case, carefully remove the cell caps to check the level or add water. If the level is low, add distilled water until the level is up to the max mark or until the cells are immersed. Screw the caps back into position on the battery. Brake and clutch fluid. The brake master cylinder is mounted on the front of the power brake booster. On the right, or driver's side of the engine compartment firewall. The clutch master cylinder used on manual transmission models is mounted next to the brake master cylinder. The clutch and brake master cylinder share the brake master cylinder reservoir. A hose from the brake master cylinder reservoir transfers fluid to the clutch master cylinder. The translucent plastic reservoir allows the fluid inside to be checked without removing the cap. Be sure to wipe the area around the reservoir cap with a clean rag to prevent contamination of the brake and or clutch system before removing the cap. Keep the fluid level at or near the max mark. When adding fluid, pour it carefully into the reservoir to avoid spilling it on surrounding painted surfaces. Be sure the specified fluid is used since mixing different types of brake fluid can cause damage to the system and possible brake failure. At this time, the fluid and master cylinder can be inspected for contamination. The system should be drained and refilled if deposits, dirt particles or water droplets are seen in the fluid.
After filling the reservoir to the proper level, make sure the cap is on tight to prevent fluid leakage. The brake fluid level in the master cylinder will drop slightly as the pads at the front wheels wear down during normal operation. If the master cylinder requires repeated additions to keep it at the proper level, it's an indication of leakage in the brake or clutch system, which should be corrected immediately. Check all brake and clutch lines and connections. If, upon checking the master cylinder fluid level, you discover the reservoir empty or nearly empty, the brake and clutch system should be bled and thoroughly inspected for leaks.